Hey, what's up everyone? Just a real quick little follow-up from the video yesterday. That's why I'm putting this on the Clips channel right now uh, instead of the main channel. What I had done the past couple days is test around with Vol Cleave and Cleave itself. And you know, the video yesterday was basically, yeah, the skill, it's okay. It doesn't blow me away. There's nothing really special about it. And particularly Vol Cleave as well, was not in love with it. Let me get myself out of the way here. Did not super love Vol Cleave at all. Kind of a neat idea. There's some cool stuff in there. But yeah, just felt really, really, really clunky. In addition, with me going all out into AoE and everything, it just, it felt okay and playable, but I didn't love it. However, I did spend a lot of time last night actually testing a whole bunch of other skills. I did everything from Heavy Strike, Vigilant Strike, uh, Reeve here, as you see, Glacial Hammer. I tested everything that I could. And Reeve was actually the big standout. So Reeve is one of those skills that is known for the for the people that know it is known to scale very well it's not like a big boy boston scale whatsoever but it has respectable numbers and it has very respectable size and as we all know bigger is better the real big difference here for me for reeve versus cleave is while you'll see that reeve only has plus two radius and we get the old meme of cleave with 10 radius right now with the old plus two buff reeve doesn't have a less attack speed modifier cleave has only 80 percent attack speed whereas reeve has 100 percent attack speed and it has better effectiveness of added damage. The way that this is balanced is that Cleave has flat added damage to it. So at very low investment, Cleave probably feels better. It's more of a one big hit trying to like one shot the monster type of skill. You know, with my build, I want to be able to freeze them first, get my mark on hit with Assassin's Mark, and then kill them on the second or third hit. So I very much value with this build shell to attack as quickly as possible. And while the plus two radius for Reeve doesn't look very impressive, now the big, big difference here is, yeah, while it only has plus two radius, Reeve has this concept of stages, which gives you a more area of effect multiplier. So every time you kill a monster with Reeve, it'll go up to four stages, which will give you 200% more area of effect. It's just a straight up multiplier. And this more than makes up for the, you know, the lack of radius on the base skill. And then unlike Cleave, Vol Reeve is basically mandatory. Vol Reeve will do a big 360 bunch of slashes all over the screen. And the huge thing here is it gives you plus four to maximum stages, which will also affect the stages for base Reeve. Now you do have to periodically Vol Reeve to maintain those eight stages, but then you go up to 400% more area of effect, which with only moderate AOE scaling and investment, you can just hit the whole screen very, very reliably. And I can demonstrate this very quickly. So we can see by default, Reeve isn't that big. Not that impressive, but it's a grower, not a shower. Check this out. So you'll see that we have four stages up here. Your reef has more area of effect. You know, pretty respectable, two thirds of the screen. But here's where it really shines. Let me get a couple more charges on my Vol Reef. Blood Aqueduct is actually not really good for demonstrating. All right, here we go. And then this is my AOE with eight charges. And as you can see, it's like pretty close to the whole screen. And this was with only moderate AOE investment. The play style is basically, you know, you want to reef around hit the whole screen pretty nicely, and then Vol Reef periodically, try to get those eight charges, and then you're hitting very, you know, a pretty impressive size there. You know, I promise it would grow, don't worry, it'll get there. At this configuration, I'm about average, like 60 to 70 million DPS. It does vary based on my buffs, like pretty greatly, as well as the support gems that I'm using. In this configuration, I am using quality of life support gems. So I'm using Ice Bite here to generate frenzy charges and I am using Awakened Increased AoE to get a little bit more AoE there. But it's not necessary whatsoever. I just wanted to, you know, make it a little bit bigger for you guys. You know, kind of fluff it up a little bit to have something nice to show you guys. But yeah, anyway, this is the same setup as yesterday. I'm just using my Claw instead of the Savior, and then I'm using Reeve instead of Cleave, which also allows me to use the Absolute Broken Nightblade, which, as we all know, is spectacular. I just want to give you guys a really, really quick update, switching from Cleave to Reeve. And now I'm actually just like like this build. Like I might level it up to 100, just kind of push it all the way. Um, you know, as you saw in the showcase at the beginning, it can do 60% delirious really comfortably right now. And that was with quality of life gems as well. That was with uh, Ice Bite and Awakened AoE. It was not with all my damage gems. You know, this could probably push into 100% delirious if I went all into damage. But I just wanted to show something that was kind of cool at the beginning. This is just a quick little update. I'm going to go get ready for doing the gauntlet today. We're going to be doing like a watch party play along type of thing. I'm going to play a little bit. It's going to be like 50-50 me playing and 50-50 um, you know, checking up on what people are doing, doing analysis of their, their strategies and their play styles. I'm really excited for this. Uh, we're going to try something a little bit different today, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the stream soon. Bye.